Let's just try that. We'll leave it at that for now. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Hell yeah. Hell How yeah. you doing, like, God? Yo, i got to congratulate you on your... I saw you hit, like, what was it? 600, 600,000K on Facebook? Uh, 500. 500. 500 man. That's yeah. a big number, bro, for Facebook. It is, dude. It's crazy. That's it's crazy. Big number. Yeah. It was a grind, too, let me tell you, bro. Yeah. It was a grind. Yeah. How long How long you been doing the Facebook one? Uh, Facebook, probably a year now. Yeah. Yup. Okay, yeah, you're growing on there, bro. Dude, I can't growing. believe how fast, dude. It's honestly surprising me, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, just with our content and our niche, bro, it's kind of it's kind of a yeah. tricky one. It is, it is. You know? You can, get, you can get banned easily and you can get, you know, a lot of hatred from people, so... You need to know how to word it correctly. Hold on, I'm not charging for some reason. My phone's half dead here. Okay. Hold on here. Oh, well, I'm not charging. Um, let me try this one here. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, I've been wanting to collab with you for a minute, bro. Yes. Yes. We need to do something. We for need real. to do something, bro. Dude, your what? work with uh, Tartaria. Is unprecedented, bro. You, uh, the mud flood, your work with that, man. Respect, I commend bro. you, bro. I commend you. Respect, bro. Thank you. For real. Yeah, man. I've just been grinding with that. Like, even now, people are like, yo, do another mud flood or tartar. And I'm like, come on, I gotta switch it up a little bit. But yeah. I realize that people still haven't heard that message. Do you know what I mean? And people still want to hear more of it. But it's um, crazy. It's crazy, bro. And then, so. I looked into it after you, after I saw your videos popping, right? I haven't really done a lot of Tartarian stuff. Yeah. But uh, the mud flood stuff with the cathedrals that were buried and all that stuff. Yeah. Absolutely mind blowing. But um, as I'm watching your videos, bro, I can't help but sit back and wonder, like, where are all the bodies? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, my understanding of it is by the time we usually see these buildings, these body, these buildings have already been excavated. They've already been renovated, and whatever was in these lower basements have been removed. Okay. You know, like by the time we've come along, anytime you see pictures of them standing outside of the building saying "founded" or any access that we get to the public to these buildings, everything's already been cleared. The antique tech and the technology has been took off the the, the domes of the building. Everything's wow. been dismantled, and any bodies that was there, because remember. They're claiming that they built these buildings. They're yeah. claiming there ain't no mud flood. Yeah, so you right. ain't really going to see no skeletons. And if there right. is any skeletons, they get moved long before we got there. Probably That's right me. to the good old Smithsonian, right? Yeah, good old Smithsonian, bro. That's my <laughs> understanding of it. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you know, I would love to find, to be the first man on site to a mud flood building. Like, oh, just, dude, it'd just be to crazy. get there before them. Yeah, I dig right, it myself. Right. Before the guys in the, you know, black suits or whatever you want to call them get there and confiscate everything that means something. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it's too bad that they're hiding all this stuff from us, man. It really, you know, as a creator, the more I look into it, the more I find. I heard you earlier, you're like, everything's a lie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything's a lie. And it's like, you know, you don't want to have that narrative. You don't wish it wasn't. But, yeah, bro, it's so hard to say it's otherwise. Yeah, you know? definitely. 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 Like, Crazy. It's, it's, shocking, it's shocking as well because, like, you know, when you try to explain it to somebody that's never heard of it, they're like, nah, why would they lie? That's some right. of the questions. That's what some of the comments are getting like, but why would they lie? What would they gain from lying? Uh, everything? Like, everything. Everything's a lie. Like, it starts from the beginning. Like, they've been lying since the Big Bang up until now. And right. every lie, every lie supports the last lie. So, sure. And dude, they're calculated at it. The lie, the 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 content or whatever they come up with, yeah, it sounds legit as hell. Mm -hmm. it's hard to deny that it sounds true. It's, you know, sounds... I don't know how you are, dude. Have you read? Have you you know that Nos Confundin Matt? Yes. Have you read his books? No, I haven't read his books, dude. I gotta recommend those to you. It so, it's wild, bro. Like, it's hard to explain, but I, I've had contact with that author, right? Yeah. And uh, how he explained it to me, I'm like, dude, where's your source? Like, where are you getting this information, right? Because it's mm. supposed to be obviously fiction. 
Yeah. But you look at that map and you go, bro, there's no way somebody just conjured this up in their freaking head, right? Yeah. yeah. You'd have to be damn near a genius to think of such an elaborate map. Um, so I asked him and he goes, well, my source hit me up like, I don't know, he said probably four or five years ago, something along those lines. And her claim is, it's wild, bro, that she's actually the great granddaughter or the granddaughter of the actual navigator. Okay. Yeah. Was that, the, was that that thing, um, the, the navigator pots the ice wall that you sent me? Yes. Yes. You bro. know what? I still haven't read that, you know. Bro, it I will tell you haven't. exactly where the tar. It, it's without saying too much, just because it's like, it's a fine line. You know what I'm yeah. saying? With, yeah. with whether you, you know, because I want to be able to post this later to, to my page. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, she claims you. that she's the navigator's great granddaughter and that she grew up and was born outside the ice wall. And I, I believe it already. Bro. So the, what they say is. All right, so you're talking hearing, right? Yeah. You so how are you on the the uh stuff of like uh the reptilians and all that stuff? You believe in all that? Yeah, yeah, I'm there. I'm there. I'm deep in that. Yeah, bro. Well, their claim is that and hopefully we can actually continue to talk about it and don't get messed with, but um the reptilians are kind of in control, right? Yeah. Well, their claim is that the fallen angels fell from the heavens and bred the daughters of man, right? That's correct. Well, their claim is that the daughter or the, the fallen were from a land known as Anak. Okay, yep. And the actual race of the breed of giant is uh, Anakim. Okay. And they've watched the oppression of mankind on our lands for thousands of years because we get reset constantly apocalypse yeah. after apocalypse and they claim it's been done a thousand times yeah well they got tired of seeing our oppression and the reptilians were busy with a war o over with uh, the anunnaki okay so they weren't watching earth and monitoring it as they normally do so these anakim came in they bred with our daughters, and they created the Tartarians. Okay. And the Tartarians were finding high-grade tech, reptilian tech, all over the world within the pyramids, etc. And they mimicked it and reverse engineered it and basically came up with the triangle-shaped craft that's anti-gravity. Okay. All right. And then when the reptilians got back, they went to war. Mm -hmm. And they almost won had the Anunnaki not came to the aid of the reptilians. They almost won back Earth. And what they did was they skate. Why there's no bodies in the, the mud flood, they skated out. Uh, That's the ice wall. Uh, through the ice wall in yeah. Antarctica. And then they came up with the ancestral public, the lands outside the ice wall. Okay. Yeah. And they're perfect still watching sense. us. Yeah. yeah it makes crazy. perfect sense. And I, yeah. I have, I've, I've also touched on that before as well. And it's something I definitely believe in because, you know, in all of these buildings, some of them, like you said, you know, they're just empty. Like nobody's there. It's like, yeah. where have they really gone? And a lot of people right. ask as well, like, how did they kill them all? And it was like, they've gone past the ice wall. They've gone yeah. out of here. Yeah, they got out of here, bro. They they yeah. seen the flood coming, basically. And that that's what it was, is it flooded the earth. Yeah. To rid it of all, you know. You ever Google Earth, bro? I don't, you know. You should check I it out because... I've actually learned a lot watching and, and just going through Google Earth and yeah. checking out different structures and stuff, bro. It's yeah. am amazing, bro, that some of the stuff that how it looks like massive giants were the mountains, the tree stumps, the, you know, the thousand, you know, thousand mile trees, stuff yeah. like that they're talking about. Um yeah, it's wild, dude. You got to read The Navigator, bro. Do me a solid and do that. I know, I know, I know. Do you know what? You sent me that book ages ago. And I was I like, did. you know what? I'm going to read it. And I just never got around to reading it. And I was like, well, it's a I quick always read. had it in... Say it again? It's a quick read. Yeah, I always had it in, in the back of my mind. Like, yeah, that's 
gonna be my new content. Like when I oh, get yeah. to that brick wall, I was gonna slap him with the with the pasta ice wall thing. Hell so yeah, we, do it, bro. So, yeah, so I'm we're, we're spoiling. Go ahead, go that ahead. again. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Yeah, so we're spoiling a few surprises with this with this conversation oh, here. <laughs> my bad, dude. My bad. My bad. <laughs> no, you could. You could. Bro, you there's could. a lot more than that, though. That's just touching the tip of the iceberg, brother. Yeah. And yeah. they have three books. They have three different books. One called Terra and Tierra Infinita, which yeah. explains the whole map. Um, and then Terra Mars. They talk yeah. about Mars. It's yeah. wild, dude. It's wild. Why the reason why I resonate with it so well and I believe it wholeheartedly, I don't even need to ask the guy what's his source. The reason why I believe it is because I already came to the conclusion that the map we have is a, a controlled map. They already show us where we're allowed to go. Do you know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Say, so, yeah, you can go to Canada, you can go to America, Europe, you need a passport, you need a, the passport, you can't fly over there. There's no right. fly zones, and it's like, well, why why not? What's over there? Yeah, you know what I mean. Exactly. And, yeah. Even with the even with the whole globe thing, like I'm not saying the world is flat all round, but I'm saying if the world is a globe, and if you travel in one direction, you come back on yourself. You got no reason to explore. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Because you're exactly. just going to keep going around in a circle. But if yep. it was flat and you could travel and keep going and keep going, yep. yeah, that's that's people why would be I, out looking, man. Especially yeah. when the resources get to where they, you know, are drying up and stuff like that. That's when you're going to have people trying to get outside the ice wall and find yeah. more lands. Yeah. Um, very good point, dude. Very good point. Yeah, the globe Earth thing, dude, you know, it took me a long time, bro, to look past, because I was a, a huge, you know, heliocentric model guy. Yeah, um, almost. Even, yeah, you know. <laughs> well, almost. you know, and then if people look at it like, they look at it like wrong, the people that hate on flat Earth, bro. Yeah. They look at it like it's just a slab of land float yeah. in, in orbit, you yeah. know what I'm saying, in yeah. our solar system. And I see why that looks silly. Yeah. You know? Um, but if you take a look at it like, okay, the Earth is flat, but there's this much outside of it, like the nose confounded map. Yeah. Then you go, okay, that's mm -hmm. that's possibly flat Earth, right? Yeah. Um, seeing dude, like, this is the type of stuff that the, the big platforms, they don't like you talking about much. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. They got upset when I when I mention it. Every time I, I do a video on that, it normally gets a million views and so many angry comments. Just oh. angry, angry, angry. And I know why they're angry, because it it shatters your whole world. When you come from the whole spinning ball to the flat earth, it shatters your whole understanding of things. And it's so hard to conceive. But if you can imagine that we were spinning in the air and not falling when you start to right. challenge that you're like really it makes more yeah. sense that we're on water and we're just a big land on water that's why sure. we're not falling <laughs> exactly <laughs> dude so exactly if you use common sense dude like yeah. and really think about globe model and yeah. really think is like much history as this world has and everything that's gone on on this world the globe model limiting our land just to that yeah, yeah, it doesn't seem like legit. It doesn't seem like it, it's valid. You know what I'm definitely, saying? Definitely. Like the, the it's all to limit the resources, like you said, to keep us from traveling and being curious. Yeah. And then they can play the uh, population control narrative. Yeah. Yeah. It all so, adds in. It adds in from from the Big Bang to everything's an accident. The, you know, everything. Every lie matches the last lie. Do you know what I mean? So the spinning ball and the chaotic and the the whole it just it's crazy to think about it. Like you think, well, where are we then? It's like we're spinning in the air forever. Right. Traveling. Right. <laughs> and fast as hell, fast dude. As fuck, bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> and people are like, yeah, right. that makes sense. And it's like that makes <laughs> no sense. Like none, dude. I thought there was no gravity up in there. What's making it spin? There's no wind, it's just spinning on its own. So, yeah, the axis and the spin and the curvature. They thought about it though. They did. They put a lot of thought into it. A lot there's, of numbers. There's some. Yeah, I mean, it's wild how accurate the numbers are and all that <laughs> stuff. But, bro, I mean, it took me a long time. I'm glad we're on the same page with that one because, yeah, man, and, and I don't like finding 
whether I'm one or the other. I'm kind of like you on that tip. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, I don't like to. I don't like to claim it because people get so upset. They're like, oh, are you a flat yeah. earther? Are you a flat earther? And it's like, no, I'm. I'm a everything. Like everything yeah. is a part of the thing. Like I'm not a flat earther. But if you right. know, if I had to pick one, go for flat prof. <laughs> yeah, dude, for real. For well, flat. as long as it had like like outside lands, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I've seen, yeah. dude. Do you get you get a lot of content sent to you? I'm sure. Um, yeah, sometimes, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, dude, I've had. So, what do you think about all these UFOs, bro? Um, these I'm in two minds. I believe the true UFOs and the true aliens. You're not shooting down like that, bro. You no, can't just shoot exactly. them down, bro. <laughs> so, <laughs> all of this shooting this down and all of this, I think that's false. It's them trying to trick nah. us. We've been claiming sure. aliens for years. Yeah, and they said right. we was crazy, and now all of a sudden they're saying, "Yep, yeah, aliens are real." We shot one down last week. Like, yeah, <laughs> sounds <Yeah. laughs> so, so dangerous. No. We start a war with aliens now. Yeah, like, exactly, bro. Exactly. One of my buddies had a pretty cool theory, bro. He was kind of, he kind of tripped me out. He goes, um, "Dude, he's like, I have a theory on these these craft." He said, "They're crafts that are fighting in a war in another dimension or another another land." And they're out of fuel or out of all their uh, weaponry, and they're teleporting back to Earth, and they're basically just, you know, floating. It's their it's their quick get out away from where the war is. And now they're out of all their their resources, so they're just floating along and allowing us to shoot them down. But mm. I was like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's that's kind of a, a good theory. I like normally I'd be hopping on that. If it wasn't right. mainstreamly out there, like these are the guys True. that would lie and hide UFOs. Now they're shooting them down on camera. Right. Oh, thank you for the big gift, somebody. Very nice. Very nice. But yeah, yeah. I'm, glad, um, I'm glad we're on the same page about a lot of these subjects. Oh, absolutely, dude. Absolutely. You know, and it's been a wild experience, bro. I never seen myself even getting in this niche. Yeah. Uh, but I have learned so much, bro. It's been a good try. It's been a good ride, man. Definitely, definitely, bro. Oh yeah. And we're gonna have to collab. Yeah, we're gonna have to collab yes, we at do. some point. Just put two videos together, or just something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even a little, even a little chat show or something one time or whatever. Car. Oh I'm yeah, always, dude. I've always liked your stuff, month. bro. Yeah, dude. Same, dude. I seen you when you got your uh, TikTok band, bro. That was rough. Yeah, okay, you remember my last account, yeah? Yeah, yeah you got was... up to like a million followers, didn't you? No, I was only on 200, 250K. You never got that big? So no. this account's getting bigger. Yeah, this is this is the million account. It's got to okay. be. Okay. It's got so to you be. had to start from after only having a couple hundred thousand, because you had some bangers before that. You yeah, I did. And reestablished. Yeah, I, and when I got banned, have you ever been banned before? Oh, yeah, I got banned, uh, dude... Two or three times, and I had to fight tooth and nail to get my account back. Oh, you got the account back, though? Yeah, I did. Oh, yep. when, yo, you know when you wake up and you find out you've been permanently banned? Oh, instant it, depression. It, yo, oh, because you've been bro. working so hard, and it's gone. Videos are gone as well, because it gives you an option to download your data. So on, yeah. you think you can download your videos. It's not your videos. It's just data. Right, so right. you lose everything. And I was like, no. And people was like, yeah, come on, do it again. I was like, it's not the same. I think I had a video with like, I think it was like 4 million views. Oh, and man. I thought, there's no way I can get 4 million views again. Like, you know, when you're like, I you know. Think, there's, there's no way. Do you know what right. I mean? And I came back stronger. So this account that I'm on now, I, I started in September. Okay. And, I'm, and I averagely get 100K followers a month. That's Atta my boy. My growth rate. Killing and, it, bro. Killing yeah. it. Yeah, good I'm for you, good. man. I'm trying dude. to be like you, though, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, appreciate it, dude. Hell yeah, trying to be like you, dude. Tell you, save all your videos. Obviously, you're doing that, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, have you done? Have you downloaded like any uh, video creating apps that you can compile your videos together and make? I should have done that. What was the name again that you said? So there's Power Direct, and then there's yeah. the, you can use. I like to use Power Direct because the time limit's unlimited. Okay. Power right, direct. yeah, dude, and it lets you just go in, grab the file, 
and dude, it's easy. It's cake. You just add it right to and just layer your videos right on top of each other, dude. Get 10, 15 minutes. I'm telling you, my boy, you are a YouTuber through and through. You need to be on it. Yeah. Yeah. I've slowly you started got... doing a bit more YouTube. But like you said, I need to be hitting it hard. I need to actually dedicate more time to YouTube than TikTok. Do you know what yeah, I mean? because honestly, dude, I tried TikTok, bro. I fought, and dude, when I first started, I kind of beat the wave, right? Yeah. Um, I beat the wave, dude. And there was a time on TikTok when I was making, you know, $100 a day on my videos. Um, yeah. Then it just died, bro, and turned to okay. pennies. Yeah. Like, what I, I mean, and it's not all about the money, let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, I know. But you like but to be appreciated for the work, innit? it? Absolutely, dude. And you know, you're going, you're going hard. And you're, you're doing your research. You're putting time in. Yeah, uh, dude. And you want to provide this service to society, right? Yeah. Well, bro, the best way to do it's full time, and you need to get yeah, paid, right? Definitely. And uh, gifts just don't cut it. I mean, they do, but they yeah. don't. Yeah. You know, um, they're nice, but you know, bottom line is, dude, get to YouTube. You only need a thousand hours of video, bro. I, I almost wish I could help you, bro, because I know you can do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know you got what it takes. Um, yeah. And really attack shorts, bro. Attack that shorts. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. YouTube shorts, the minute long platform they got. Yeah. So how, how many, um, you need what, a thousand, min, um, a thousand minute hours of, of watch play? Yeah. And that dude, that sounds like a lot, but it's not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It I know it's quick. Not, yeah. Yeah. I guarantee you, dude, with your TikTok as it sits right now, you yeah. could compile videos, bro, and you would have a thousand hours of watch time in yeah. no time. So yeah. you do that, you funnel, you take and put your YouTube link right in the bio on your TikTok. Yeah. And start funneling people now. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. And then yeah. post the shorts, dude, because I gained last month, I gained 42,000 subscribers on TikTok or on not TikTok, but YouTube. Wow. Yeah, bro. And that was off my shorts alone. Wow. Yeah, bro. Okay. And it's That's a new one. It's a different audience, I take it. Yeah. It is a different audience. Yep. Most oh, of them don't good. even. Yeah. 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 That's they don't I even mean. mess with TikTok, bro. They like YouTube. Yeah. That's what's weird as well. You know, with the TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Some people don't mess with the other platforms. Yeah. Isn't mean? that weird, bro? It's very weird. Instagram yeah, people, see. my Instagram followers are strict. They are yeah. strict. Like things that I can say on TikTok, if I say on Instagram, they're like, no, that's not right. And they're just like, I'm like, why don't you come over to TikTok? They're just like, that's the Chinese app. They're spying yeah. on it. I'm like, you're kidding. All right, Instagram, take it easy now. <laughs> just, just social media. <laughs> right, right. They're watching us anyway. Uh -huh. They're watching us. Dude, I'm pissed off at Instagram right now, bro. Um, why? They capped my following. Okay. Yeah, they will not let me gain another follower. <coughs> how do you how how many followers you need to start so getting paid I'm, on on Instagram? So Instagram, bro, I've been grinding on there for a while. I was posting regularly, and then I posted a video that got like a million hits, and I gained thirty thousand uh, followers in like a matter of like a couple weeks, right? And then they just capped my following to where I can't gain a single more follower. I'm at one forty one thousand. Um, and basically, so I am getting paid for the reels. Okay. And they invited me to get paid for those quite a while ago after a hundred thousand or so. Um, oh, you need a, what? You need a hundred thousand followers. I mean, that's how they say it's less, but dude, for some reason in our niche, they make yeah. me grind harder, bro. Yeah. yeah. I heard it was like 10,000 followers and I got to like 10,000 and it was the same. Yeah. Yeah, they want to see like, you. Are yeah, you still man. getting followers though? I'm yeah, I'm getting followers slowly, but I'm not getting paid. I'm, every time I drop a video, I'm like, this is a rip off. I'm just sending my city away. <laughs> like, yeah, for real, dude. On? For real. And, and dude, people... I'll tell you right now, Instagram don't pay hardly that good, mm. but YouTube and Facebook, that's where the money's at. Wow. Yeah. Never fought Facebook. I know, I never right? Yeah, they actually, dude. I will tell you right now, bro. YouTube, or YouTube pays decent, but Facebook, bro, 
Holy, I mean, it's the pool of people. They pay and wait a minute. And how many followers you need to get on Facebook for that? So Facebook, you want to do again. So dude, all these platforms, there's a common theme, bro. Attack the short videos, the minute long videos. Yeah. And that's yeah. where you gain your bigger followers. Cause it's easy. People can just watch the video and go, Oh, I like this guy. Follow or yeah. subscribe. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But uh, Facebook, I started getting paid at 83,000. Okay. Yeah. And you got to do all the, you know, it's like a monetization. You got to sign up for taxes and all that stuff. Yeah. But, dude, I'm telling you, you should be doing, are you, what do you do? Are you, you work and stuff? Yeah, I work. Oh uh, yeah. Work, I work, but I want to basically put all my time into this. Like sure. I work in, I work in construction where man are digging and stuff. You get me? I'm like, my back's oh, hurting yeah. me and shit. Like, Hell yeah. Yeah, I want to sack all that in. Hell yeah, Hell dude. Me. I uh, I was working road construction prior to what I'm doing now. Yeah. So I know how that feels. It sucks. I was in freaking, I was laying sewer pipe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nasty shit. Wow. Now I'm just like, on my own time, got my own schedule. It's beautiful, bro. And uh, I've tried to put as many people on as I can. I've told... Uh, Oh, Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe does the mermaid stuff a lot. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. I'm just like messaging her and telling her, hey, go to Facebook, go to YouTube, man. The money's there. Um, yeah. It's just a lot of people don't know about it, bro. But I'm telling you, start attacking shorts on YouTube, brother. And yeah. Eventually, you will get the offer or, you know, the invite to get paid, man. And it changes your life. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, and if you could put full time in work, think what about the shit you could find out. Think about the yeah, I know, I know. I've been planning. I've been planning to do like a a, 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 a worldwide mud front expedition where I'm going all over the place and documenting this stuff for a long time. But I'm still trying to get my money up, and you know, I've still got yeah. bills to pay off and that. And I just want to just put all my time in this because this brings me joy doing this. This yeah, is what dude. I love to do. It's what you're made to do, bro. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, respect, man. True talk. For real. For real. And, I, I, dude, it's like I said, I love it, man. I I never thought in a million years I'd be here, but I'm lucky enough. And, and it's such a blessing. Um, and once you get there, bro, and you can do it, man. You you just manifest it and just keep keep grinding. And, and dude, I'm telling you, like I said, just go to YouTube, yeah. filter your yeah. people, put your stuff in the YouTube, uh, YouTube in your bio. Yeah. And put start posting on shorts because you got a lot of short videos yeah. that are awesome, dude. Yeah, they'll you, pop. Man. I yeah, know man. they'll pop, bro. Yeah. For sure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. I enjoy your stuff, man. I enjoy your stuff. Your accent works for you, bro. <laughs> thank you, it <laughs> You know, it's my cause some people really thought I was from um I was from America. I was like where do I sound American? Do you know what I mean? But I no, don't no, you don't. You live in where? Europe? Yeah, England. England. Yeah, wow. England, England. You know How is mean? it over there with all this stuff, bro? Like, um, what, what do you with, mean? Say that again. What with what, like all the, the Russia stuff, the Ukraine stuff, you know, the, the UFOs. We're we're a bit the same as you guys. England and America are like brothers and sisters, so. Normally, yeah. what you guys are thinking is the same thing the average person thinks here. So, you know, nobody likes Russia over here. Um, everyone thinks Russia's the bad guy. And um, I don't know. I just still think they just think that they're superior. England think they're superior. They think yeah. nothing can touch them. Nothing's going to go wrong. And, right. you know, they're the king be, of all lies. It can be uh, dangerous. It can be dangerous thinking like that. Yeah, it is, it is dangerous. You know, pride come before a fall. So, you know, right. you know, I think, like, their time's coming. So, it's crazy. I know, it's, dude, I never thought, like, growing up, bro, because we're about the same age. How old are you, bro? 36. 35, so we're about the same age. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, we saw, you know, growing up, bro, like, I'd have never thought in a million years we'd be where we're at now with the instability in, in yeah. World War Three even being a yeah. thought. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's scary. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, you kind of. It's still kind of like a. Um, what's the word? 
it still doesn't feel real to me yet. Yeah. I hear so much about World War and Russia and China and against America and England. I'm like, I can't believe it's going to happen. If it does happen, I'll be shocked. Like, I'll be shocked. Wow. Like, I didn't take him <laughs> serious. <laughs> no, for real, bro. Nuclear war. Like, one of my buddies is, like, convinced we're going to nuclear war. And I'm like, bro, really? You think that? I thought we were smarter than that, bro. I hope yeah. we're smarter than that. Yeah, you know? first one to first one to shoot off a, a nuclear missile is a fool. Dead. Right? Dead. He I'm just hoping killed his dead, bro. family. And I'm hoping the aliens just shut it down, bro. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know? I'm hoping part, they just shut it down. Well, dude, with those UFOs, right? I covered a story on it. It went it went pretty viral. Um Okay. You know, now they are unidentified flying objects. I'll give them that. But they're definitely not extraterrestrial. I agree with you on that. Um, okay. But like a year ago, right, I got contacted by this dude that he was in the uh, military. Yeah. And he's like, hey, I have a video for you. He's like, um, it's top secret stuff type stuff. And uh, it's basically showing these craft, these drones, these unmanned drones that are basically they don't have any type of propulsion system. Um, mm -hmm. like, like, like standard jet propulsion or propeller. Yeah. Um, they're anti-gravity and they are basically alien tech in that we've been working on them for quite a few years and we've got it down more or less, mm. you know? Um, so I, I think about that video and I actually posted it to my TikTok. Uh, it's just a, it's a little like saucer shaped craft and they're flying it back and forth on a runway. And I'm like, holy shit, we're there, you know. Um, yeah. So it, like, makes me think that, you know, if we have it, then China has it. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's that the UFOs are testing our airspace, yeah. essentially, to yeah. see how well monitored we are and how well our radar works. Yeah. Um, and how quick we basically catch, you know, infiltration. So I'm, I'm thinking it was China, bro. Or, or Russia. Okay. You know? I mean, if it is, then, yeah, there's going to be a war, bro. <laughs> if they, you think if so? that was really dead, we're, we're in trouble. Well, how yeah. about this narrative, bro? What if it was the country that it happened to? What do you mean? Like, what if it was the United States? What, that was actually flying the drones, the, the, the UFOs? Yeah, what if it's a big show? Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> I think it's a the fact it was captured on camera. We all know about it. It's public knowledge. I'm like the public. Do you think the right. military really tell the public what's going on? We're the last when. to know. Right. Do you know what I mean? Right. So I just Playing think the narrative. Yeah, I just think it all fits in. Like the whole, the whole pandemic, the whole, the whole vaccine stuff, the whole Ukraine. Now it's aliens. It's like, when are we allowed to not be scared? Nuclear right. wars. <laughs> like, uh, what's scarier? Aliens or nuclear? Flip it. I'm going with I know, aliens, right? <laughs> <laughs> they can't with... forget zombie apocalypse next. Zombies. You know, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, I don't know what's the worst evil, bro. Yeah, you know I don't. I, mean? I don't know. I don't know which one I'll choose. Man, uh, at the end of the day, dude, I'm like sitting here. I'm like, I know you guys. How are you guys with? Uh, you guys don't aren't really allowed to have weaponry. No. Yeah. No. No. Like, no weapons. Yeah. yeah no away. weapons. If an alien came out here, we gotta use our fist in England. Come on, mate. You want, <laughs> you want a fucking fist in cost? That's how it is, dude. Mum used their fist. <laughs> Stop dude, swinging that's... it out with the aliens, bro. Fuck you know. <laughs> Crazy, bro. Like, I mean, dude, growing up in the USA, it was a totally different atmosphere with that tip, bro. Like, yeah, I, I can't believe that. You know what I mean? Like, now that I'm sitting here, right, I'm like, okay, well, World War Three could be around the corner. This shit's crazy. Yeah. Like, why are we, why are we disarming our people, bro? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a whole nother subject, but like Canada, right north of us, just got all their guns taken. And I'm like, you guys just took their guns? They're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if China or Russia relands on our shores, you'll be damn sure wish you had them things. Yeah, that's true. You know? 
That's it's true. a scary thought. And I don't want it to be, but bro, it's a reality that I'm thinking about. Like me and my girl, dude, we're talking about getting uh scramble packs around. What's a scramble pack? Electronic like, scramble. Basically, like first aid, food for uh, three days, yeah. Um, like warm clothes, tents, you know, to yeah. where if shit goes down, we can move and anything. Yeah, I mean, that's the best bet, really. I mean, if we had guns in England, we would have killed ourselves a long time ago. Yeah, right? you think so? Yeah, we, in, the way it is in England, <laughs> in England, um, <laughs> yeah, it's very prideful. So, like, people get into fist fights all the time. But we use knives a lot. We can get knives easily. You know <laughs> I'm I'm saying? Nice. Yeah, and obviously people have got guns as well. There's a lot of illegal guns on the streets as well people get shot as well down here but if we had wow. guns legally people would be blasting people can't wait to shoot people in wow. England yeah a couple a couple of my friends have got have got handguns and all of them type of things there do you know what I mean and they can't wait to shoot people people get wow. blasted <laughs> just me just me wow yeah that's crazy, yeah, man. It's like that here to an extent, bro. Not going to lie. Yeah. It's like that here to an extent, like, especially, you know, you know, in the, in the, the rougher, you know, more yeah. oppressed kind of territories, yeah. you know, I watched a video yesterday that just blew my mind. I watched this 14 year old kid bust up into a gas station. It was gang related. It just yeah. lay, just do lay out these kids, bro. And I'm just like, is he really like he's running like he's a stealth? He's ducked up under the window, crawling, goes up to the door, and he's blasting. I'm just like, wow, bro, wow. You know what I mean? Like 14, bro. And it's like it's it's it sucks because that type of stuff does put a bad narrative on on web guns, dude, in general. Yeah, but um, yeah, dude. I I've heard those knife the knife stuff about uh, Great Britain, Europe. The serious, yeah, See, bro. I, I, I got, <laughs> I got into a fight about two years ago with a guy, yeah, and I've got my fist, and then he pulls out a knife Damn. and fucking stabbed me in my forehead there. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> oh my like, god! What in my face, bro? And Damn. I tried to fight him with my fist. I see right. that he's got the knife, and I haven't run. Get me? I didn't. Think Hell yeah! Run. Yeah, well, I didn't think to, to run, bro. but um, yeah, that's yeah. and I got a little stab in my back as well. And in my hand. <laughs> yeah, bro. you can die, you get me, dude, for and, real, for real. And I think, I think the knife people, a lot of people like kind of it is funny about the knife, but you kind of got to be a warrior to actually run upon a man close range oh. and take his life. A gun you oh, can sure. shoot from miles away, do you know what I mean? You yeah. can drive by the knife, you've got to run up to your opponent. And sure. put it in it. Yeah. It's a lot, a lot more, more personal, bro. Yeah, it's personal. It's gritty. Yeah, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. I hope to God I never have to do anything like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. I mean, Fuck, I'm, I'm a that, not a fight. I'm but, the same. Know. But the, the yeah. area that I'm from in England is, is kind of rough. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's not as rough as some places I would say in America, but it's, it's rough enough. And sure. um, yeah, there's a lot of gangs and stuff and things like that. And you get into an argument with the wrong guy, he, he's spinning the block with a gun or he's pulling out the knife on the spot. Wild. Yeah. Wild. That's yeah, crazy. Bro. Now, what are the gangs like? Are they like just um, east side, west side stuff? Um, the areas, territories. So it's like whatever area you're from, a bit, almost a bit like how it is in America. Um, isn't that but, silly, bro? Is that again? It's silly, isn't it? It's silly, bro. I don't Man, understand bro. that. Man, Come on. Man. Man are killing each other over areas that they don't own. They ain't, they ain't even owning a house. Some man still live at the mums and they're talking right. about gang banging and shit. Living at Mima's, bro. Be yeah. Gang banging. <laughs> Living at the grandma's and that. Come on, bro. Dinner's ready. I'm, saying, I'm busy, mom. <laughs> Getting ready for this <laughs> war. <laughs> I'm Damn. saying, bro. Over um, nothing, too, man. Over nothing. It's sad. It's it sad. Is, it is. But, uh, it's got to keep away from them things. People like me and you, we got a purpose and a mission. Yeah, um, bro. We've got the world to reach. 
You know what I'm saying? You so life feel. approach. Definitely. Definitely. That'd be cool, dude, like to to just continue to spread the word. Oh, it's going funny on me. What is? Am I, can you still hear me good? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Is, is, Derek, it freezing up? Is, it free, is it freezing on your end? Yeah, a little bit. Um, Yeah, dude, no, it was good chatting with you, homie. Yeah, definitely. For definitely. real, bro. And uh, we'll have to collab soon. Definitely, yeah. Um, and keep in touch, dude. If I find anything good, you find anything good, send it my way. That's what we need to start doing still. Get me. For That's real, what bro. we need to start doing because I saw you do the video about the um, the um, the Africa and being a giant skull. Bro, I saw, yes, bro. I got that from <laughs> you, bro. Yeah, you shot me out. You shot me out. I, I did, like bro. I yeah. did. That shit was cool, dog. And see, people were like, people were like, Oh, no way. That's way too big. That's way too big. Yeah, for a globe Earth. Yeah, for a globe Earth. If it was like right. the nose confunded map, bro, the nose confunded map could sustain a giant like that. No problem. Definitely. Definitely. You know? So, yeah, I believe it, bro. I believe it wholeheartedly. Right. Yeah, so did I. I. I run with that. People's like, no, it's not. It's not. Oh. I'm saying, just think about it, though. Just, Dude. Just think about it. Don't jump to the it conclusions. It is crazy, bro. Like, all of our land, bro, everything had yeah. been a living creature at one time, bro. Yes. Yep. That's everything. crazy. The landmass starts to... It just makes you think, like, are we, like, fleas that are on a dog? Like, are we... How big does this go? Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, who is the biggest and who is the smallest? You know? I know it. I know it. It's wild <laughs> to think about, dude. It's like, do you believe in the universe? Do you believe in space and all that? Um... I'm, I kind of believe there's water above us. Yeah, the firm. Yeah, I kind of. I believe that there's other domes and other uh, lands outside the wall. See, I used to believe yeah. in the universe and stuff, but when I look so at, I. yeah, I used to believe in it wholeheartedly. But when I look into yeah. the sky and I look at the stars, or you look through a telescope, it just looks like some light in water, like it so, looks like sperm in water or something. Yeah, for sure, dude. For sure. At the end of yeah. the day, dude, it's reflections, I believe, too, the yeah. stars. Yeah. And so think about it, like, the massive cities and stuff that is on the nose confronted map, if they, if that's the way it is, and all the light that they have. Yeah. And then you got a dome over top of it. There's mm -hmm. your reflections. There's your stars. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and then, so I wish I could show a picture, bro, if I could show a picture. Uh, they had this anomaly on an Alaskan weather camera in the okay. sky. Yeah, people were like, "Oh, it's Nibiru, it's Nibiru," and it was this big orange anomaly, and it had a bunch of what looked like craters all over it, massive freaking craters. Yeah. Well, I was like, "Wow, that resembles something," and I get it, and I, you know, screenshot it and I put it side by side, and those craters lined up perfect with the nose confounded map, bro. Wow. So it's a massive reflection of the entire dome. Man. You know what I'm saying? It's my theory. Yeah, you're gonna have you to know? send me that picture somehow. Yeah, it's wild. I need to see that. Wild. Yeah, you, what's your? Uh, I don't even know. Probably just probably email because you're so far away or whatever. Oh, your your WhatsApp. Uh, yeah, I am on WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll send you my my WhatsApp number after this. All right, hell yeah. Um, how did I do that? Um, I have my WhatsApp. I'm pretty sure it's on my Instagram or my Facebook. Oh yeah, too. oh yeah. You could send it to me through Instagram. Yeah, is it still one foul bull or one foul wow? Yeah, one foul wow Instagram. Yeah, yeah. What's that mean? What's that? It's like you know when people say I keep it one hundred, I say I keep it yeah. one thousand. But oh, I don't one just foul. keep. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, one I foul. Love it. I spell it like that because, you know, I keep it one, true to myself. It's a foul because we say what people don't normally say. You know, you yeah. got to blow the whistle like, woo, it's a foul. Absolutely. It's like, <laughs> then it's like, wow, because the way you just done shit. that. 
Well, he kept oh, one foul. <laughs> I love that, dude. Yeah. Uh, Gene, I that's see the foul, right? Like. That's hilarious, yeah. bro, because, you know, we say it with the TH, you guys say it with the F, like one foul. No, you meant to say it with the TH. Well, that's yeah. in 1,000. That's in 1,000. Yeah, yeah I, crazy, I changed it. I changed it to, to foul. foul because it's yeah. like, woo, like the whistleblower, isn't it? Woo, I like that. It's a foul. <laughs> Stop it. That's what's up. <laughs> Get it off, you're saying too much. You get me? I keep it one. Wow, wow. Yeah, I love it, dude. Yeah, I love bro. it. I keep love it. it. I'm surprised they're letting this live go, bro. We've been talking about some pretty hardy stuff. I know. We probably we probably mushed up the system. Like, no. The For night real. god and the bully slayer? Oh, hell no. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> they know each other? No. Dude. This is some bullshit. Yeah, I said something like, uh, I said something like, yeah, I got that the Africa video. I was like, yeah, I got it from a my boy won foul, and somebody's like in the comments, they're like, You don't know him, you lying. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I can't wait to post this video, you know what I'm saying? But, yes, yeah, bro. right. Bro. Yes, we tied in around here, we tied in, tied in, bro. Yeah, man, you yeah. a lot of people Dude. don't know that you've been giving me a lot of advice back before this life. People, right? Night like God's been giving me a lot of encouragement, a lot of advice of how to basically navigate with these social media. So, yeah, we uh, know yeah. each other, bro. Dude, the more the merrier in this subject, dude. I don't know yeah. why people like. I've had some conspiracy theorists come at me and hate on me and shit, and I'm just like, bro, we're all on the same team here. Like, what yeah. you doing? Yeah, you know? I've noticed that as well. Some some of accounts on TikTok. I'm not going to mention no names, but. I'm sure they don't like me. <laughs> yes. I'm thinking, you know what? I think, why are they not following me back? I start following them and I think, they're not following me back. I'll just say hi yeah. and comment and go on like, they can't see me. And I'm like, wow. Okay, hating, bro. Must, yeah, it must be hating. Jealousy, bro. Yeah, it must be. Because a few big it's accounts like yourself have been showing me love. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, wow. Oh, yeah. I'm, Hell I'm yeah, good. dude. And I just, I've done that to quite a few accounts, bro, where I'm just like, feeling their stuff and i'm just like you know what man i'm gonna put this i'm gonna try and put them on dude like yeah to where they you know i i just know you belong on this you belong to this this whole career path and all that you belong where you're at bro respect bro. and uh you gotta just get that youtube going bro first youtube first and foremost yeah then facebook and, and go from there but yeah, yeah. man I, I try to put i've done that to probably three or four different people um yeah. The real Kia, I, I I messaged her. The real Kia, you ever watch her? I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. She does yeah. a pretty good job. Um, yeah, somebody just stole her Facebook account. Somebody hacked it. Really? Yeah, yeah. She was at fifty thousand followers too. On what can she get that back? Uh, they won't give it back to her, dude. They won't get it back for. Her. No, that's and I think scary. it's because of her content, bro. Because of her, because of our niche, you know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, wow. she was she was grinding too, man. Um, uh, but she's still on YouTube, so yeah, that's the main one, bro. Where you don't have to worry. But hey, that's what I was gonna tell you. I just uh, brain latched for a second. Watch freaking scammers, bro, especially on Instagram. Oh yeah, yeah. How do they scam you on don't... Instagram? How do they do it? Just even if you start messaging your WhatsApp, they want they hit you up on WhatsApp and they're like. They'll go, hey, I, I can get you the blue badge, or or I can get you. Yeah, verified. someone said that to him on an email. I can yeah, get you the verified. Like, yeah, hey. don't don't even bother with that shit because what they do is they say, oh, well, you just gotta fill out this form, and then you fill out this form, and I don't know, dude, they're good at what they do. These hackers are awesome at it, bro, because you just wow. end up filling that form out, click a link, bro, and somehow it shoots them right into grabbing your account. They change your password. You'll never get that bitch back, dude. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. They did it on YouTube, too. They do it on YouTube. They And they go through links, bro. They make whole web pages that make them look legit. Um, They, like, will send you emails with YouTube logos and, like, bro, like, I hardly ever do any commercials or collabing at all because of it. Wow. I'm glad you told me that. Because recently, wow. someone actually did, they, they messaged me to do this collab thing. And the whole time I was doing it, yeah, I was thinking, yo, is this even real? And I was like, yeah, we're going to pay you in seven days and this and that. I'm like, yeah. Man. I was like, this doesn't sound right. But they did pay me, as I said. But 
that was in my brain. But now you told me that I'm gonna be extra cautious. Of yeah, that watch it, happening. dude. They say they're gonna pay you thousands in seven days, right? Yes, yeah, was. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, right. Yeah, you know, they just want access to your stuff. So be careful. I actually got my TikTok account hacked early on at like eight hundred thousand to a million. I was like in that area of followers, and I put a link in my bio for a collab. And that was my mistake. I put the link in my bio, and they grabbed my TikTok, dude. How did? What do you I mean you put your link in? A, in what do you well, mean? they wanted to do a collab. They're like, "Hey, will you do?" They had a whole page set up. They had other TikTokers in on it, bro. Like where they were providing their videos to this person, and it looked so legit, bro. They're like, "All you have to do is we want you to put our link in your bio for so many days, and we'll pay you the number of clicks." I put their link in my bio, bro, and all of a sudden I, I get logged off my TikTok. I try to log back in. I'm locked out, bro. What? Yeah. So how do yeah, you think that scam worked? I don't know, man. They have to have some kind of algorithm. Um, dude, you want to be honest, dude? I thought some I thought maybe somebody like some platform was in on it. Yeah. You know. Wow, because that does sound weird. I mean, at times in my life, I have thought that just by opening up a email or even just by someone having your number, they was able to tap into your phone or tap into your shit. But then I just thought, nah, that can't be real. But yeah. what you said there is like, that's almost it. You've just put the link in the bio. Whatever that link is, that's been able to just get into your phone. Totally. Wow. Totally. Yeah, and they take it over and... Uh change your password immediately. And dude, I had, dude, they were like, I was going viral on some videos at the time. So I'm in my comments, dude, like telling people, hey, it's not really, and they're all calling me imposters saying I'm trying to steal it. I'm oh, like, damn, it's my account, bro. Man. It's my account. It was killing me, bro. That back then? Uh, I, dude, so that's what I was gonna tell you. If you ever need uh, to figure out how to get your TikTok back, bro, you got to do it within 30 days of it getting banned because after 30 days, it gets deleted permanently, I think. Yeah. Um, but you just got to spam the living daylights out of them, bro, and annoy the piss out of them. I probably sent a thousand freaking emails to them, dude. Yeah. Never stopped. And then I got, finally, I got a contact in TikTok. Her name was Anastasia. Okay. And she gave me her email. <clears throat> kind of smoothed her a little bit, you know. I was flirting with her a little bit and all that stuff. You know? <laughs> That's got to be kind done. Of telling her you're great and all that. Thank you so much. You, you know, blah blah. blah. And uh, she gave me her contact, so whenever I'd have any trouble, I just message her directly, and she was unbanned. I, like I said, I got banned three times. And dude, like yeah. you said, it's depressing. It hurts, bro. It, it cuts is. you deep. <laughs> uh, with, bro, with my last I'm, account. I'm, Sorry, go on. No, go ahead, go ahead, brother. Yeah, with my last account, I got banned about three, four times, and it said you're permanently banned. And I emailed them, and I got my account back. Emailed them, I got my account back, and I think the fourth time now, I fucking emailed them loads of times, and they said, "Hello, we've got, looked at your account, we've reviewed it, and unfortunately, we're not going to restart it." And I was like, yeah. "Oh, it's gone. Yeah. It's really true." Oh, but now I've dude. learned my lesson. To tell you the truth, I learned more from getting banned that has benefited me than I ever knew. Because now I knew what I was doing right and I knew what I was doing wrong. That's why this account's grown so quick because I'm using my experience from my last account. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. So yeah. what did you what did you think you were doing wrong? Basically, I was when I step out of um my normal content. So when I start talking about something like what's going on in the news or, you know, racism, or some crime or war. You need to just stay in your kind of Tartaria, mud flood conspiracies yeah. right there. The minute you start to touch right. on um, talking about businesses, so if I talk about, like, say, Amazon, or if I try and, you know, disrespect McDonald's or something like that, that that's a flag. Yeah. Get me. Huh. If, you, if you mess with their money or the, the present pandemic or their present scheme... If you mess yeah. with that, that band. Yeah, dude, I've noticed that too. Uh, Illuminati, yeah. don't even try. <laughs> don't Stay even away. try. <laughs> Stay away, bro. I said Stay. don't even try. 
<laughs> Shit. Crazy, bro. They'll have you banned so quick it's not even funny. Illuminati, the vaccine, all that stuff. Yeah. All that yeah. stuff. I'll stay away it's from crazy. it. Stay away from um, it. What else was I going to say to you? Uh, yeah, dude, just really, hey, that, that's what I was going to say. If you make a YouTube, bro, and you, got, you get established, bro, that's what I was going to tell you. You don't have to worry about being banned, bro. Okay. They will never ban you, bro. They, I, ever since my YouTube and my Facebook popped, bro, yeah. and I've went hard at TikTok, bro, in my in my messages, hating, yeah. bro, like a mug, yeah. like <laughs> hating, bro. You know, yeah. giving them hell for their freaking all their shit, their monetization and all of it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Not yeah. verifying me, bro. I can't get verified. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, we we won't get verified with our content. No, it's kind of shitty though, dude. It is. You know, it pisses is. me off. Facebook, I've tried. They won't. YouTube yeah. did. YouTube gave me the check mark. Oh, you verified on YouTube? Yeah. Jeez. Hell yeah. That's why I say, dude, attack YouTube, man. I'd like to see you do it. I'd be. Yeah. I'll, I'll even give you shout outs and shit. You get it rolling. Yeah, definitely, bro. Definitely. Sure. Oh, awesome. shit, dude. It was nice chatting with you, homie. Definitely night guard, man. It was, it was a right. blessing. It was a blessing. For Thank sure. you for coming Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, brother. Keep doing your thing, keep grinding, and uh, we need more guys like you in the niche, bro. So. Yeah, man. Respect, bro. Thank you. Hell yeah. Well, until All right, next brother. time, bro. Take care. Yes, yeah? dude. We'll have to do a podcast or something. Don't don't uh, think about doing that too. Yeah, definitely. I'm telling you, bro. A podcast, especially like if two guys like me and you got together, dude, because there's big money in podcasting. Yeah. Yeah. What would you big put out on Spotify? Oh. Uh, so Anchor, use anchor.fm uh, or just go to your app and type in Anchor, yeah. your app store. And yeah. dude, it's free. They tie it to Spotify um, and all the other big platforms, Apple, Google, all of them. Okay. So. Yeah, thank you for telling me. they pay you that. too. They pay okay. you, so. Hell yeah. That's, yeah. The app. That's the app you want to use for that, so. We'll have yeah. to think about collabing, dude, even if it's once a month or something. <clears throat> yeah, that would be cool. great, bro. I would really mean? appreciate that. Really Hell appreciate yeah. That. You got mad potential, bro. I love seeing it. It's good chatting Respect, with you, bro. Respect, bro. Thank you, man. Love your work as All well, right. bro. Hell yeah. You have All a good right. one now, Bomi. Thank to you, G. Bless up. All right. Later. Respect. Bless. Bless you. Respect, bro. Yeah, man. So that was the legendary Night God, people. If you don't know him, you should check out his work. Yeah, legendary Night God. So yes, people, it's been an interesting live. I've been on it at least two, three hours now. Um, yes, it's been a great live. Shout out to everybody that's been in the live. You get me? Ah. Uh, yeah, we def I'm definitely going to be clubbing with Night God. I don't think people understand. He's told me a lot about all of this platforms and getting on YouTube. He's given me a lot of encouragement, which I need. Definitely. Definitely. Take your TikToks and put